Hi, I'm Bill Allred, and we are sitting here in the lobby of the Salt Lake Film Society's Broadway Theater, and we are talking about independent film here on Indie Popcorn. Today we're going to talk about an independent film that showed at the Sundance Film Festival this year. It's called Stockholm, Pennsylvania, and it's about a young girl who was kidnapped and then later recovered and returned to her family and how difficult it was for her to fit back into normal life. Indie Popcorn was able to score a brief interview with the director. Her name is Nicole Beckwith. Take it away. Um, great. I'm here at Sundance because I have a film in dramatic competition called Stockholm, Pennsylvania. The film stars Saoirse Ronan as um, a young woman who's returned home to her biological parents, played by Cynthia Nixon and David Warshawski, after 17 years of living with her abductor, played by Jason Isaacs. Um, we started pre-production uh, January 11th of last year. We filmed for 19 days. I mean, I think every day on set you have something that, like, a surprise, I mean, like, a surprise challenge um, featured for the day. Yeah. One, if you're lucky, you know, usually more, and it's just about adapting and moving really quickly through it. I think, like, a common misconception is that it's a real risk to hire a female director. Like, it's, like, so risky. Like, take a risk on a, on a lady, but it's, like, not a risk at all. It's, like, um, you know, I actually kind of have really mixed feelings about the term female director at this point. Directors, like I'm not a, I'm not a female coffee drinker. I'm not a, you know, female storyteller. I'm not a female shoe wearer. I'm just like a human. Now here's one of our indie popcorn producers and a student director talking about her short film Breathe and talking about how she feels about the term female director. Breathe is an experimental film I wrote and directed in. Uh, October, November of 2014. I'm very heavily influenced by Daniel Askill and his his experimental short films. Uh, one in particular, We Have Decided Not to Die. I didn't realize until two years after, after I had seen it how heavily it's influenced me as an artist. As a filmmaker, I believe that a person's capacity for love is only as great as their capacity for pain. So my mission as a filmmaker is to present very painful experiences that audience members wouldn't ever like go through in their life so that they can learn from that character's experience. They can empathize with that character. They can learn what it's like to feel that. So with Breathe, I I wrote it with no audio, no dialogue because I didn't want words to get in the way of those genuine emotions that you were getting from the wonderful acting talent of Emily Vogt as Diana. There is uh, the application cut that's out right now, uses copywritten music, but it was mixed by my friend Christian. And we're coming out very soon with a festival cut that has original music composed by a local band artist, Fitz. And it's, uh, it's looking really good. I think the term female director is sexist. People don't say, Oh, and the president of the company, she was female, did you know that? I was back in the 50s. We've transitioned, we've progressed further than that. Judge me on my work. Judge me on what I create, because that's what I control. Um, so with female directors, uh, at first I would think, oh, it's just a female director, like, just like there's male directors, and until, um, I got a chance to speak to someone and they would constantly be like, I'm not a female coffee drinker, so why would I be a female director? It's good to have all kinds of directors, including directors that are female, of course. I wish that we were at a point where we didn't have to specify, like that it wasn't a special thing for directors to be female. I know we don't call male directors male directors, but it's a female director and it's like, it's a new thing and it should be known that they're female because it's like, it's a big step in filmmaking. I think female directors are awesome. It's cool to be a part of such an empowering group of women doing amazing things in film. We talk about female directors. I would hope that someday the term female director isn't necessary. You just, you just have directors, right? It's not an issue. Um, but I feel like right now we're not at that point. And if we don't talk about female directors, we can't make it better. I think that the term actor has kind of evolved that way because it used to be like actor and actress, but now um, we just use the term actor for everyone. So. That is where I hope to see that go in the future. So how do you feel about the term female director? 
We'd like to hear your comments. You can make them here on our YouTube page or you can tweet them to us. And as always, if you have any other comments or if you have a short film you'd like us to include, tweet us, hashtag IndiePopcornTV. I'm Bill Allred. We'll be back again next time with another edition of Indie Popcorn. And remember, as always, you should really ask for extra butter. <laughs>